Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. We're doing stuff and things and prepping for a space race. Only 151 faith per turn. That's not insane, uh, but it's not bad. And we're ac accumulating quite a bit, a bit of a, a stockpile, a reserve, as it were. Uh, and so we'll, 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 we'll get on with it. We're going to get on with it. It's going to be good. Let's go get some mines. Got to spend money like it's going out of style. Get our wonder in two turns. Should we check again? I, I don't trust it. I never trust it. We could we could pop we could pop this. I don't think we'd get the overflow at all. No, no, still just us building it. Okay, that's fine. Did I say no? I, did I say space race? I meant faith race. <laughs> uh, yeah, I meant faith race. It wasn't a fart noise. It was an elephant noise. Cope. You'd know if I made a fart noise. Space is in heaven. Thank you. See? I didn't misspeak. You guys misheard. Uh, all right. There, there's the enlightenment. Um, Reform church. So how soon do we want to go into that? All right, Zug Zug. See you later, man. Have a good one. We'll go mercantilism. Get our better trade route policy. That's probably worth running at this point. Uh... I guess we could unlock Theocracy and switch into it any time. So I'll go Mercantilism and then Reform Church. Certainly in six more turns, we're not going to be... We're not going to want to start buying all of our Apostles quite yet, I don't think. So these guys can get an okay campus. Let's do that. In space, no one can hear the elephants. I've uh, I I think I said this the other day, but I've started watching, I've started watching The Expanse on Amazon. That is a good show. I'm really enjoying that. I am super enjoying that actually. It's like an updated Battlestar Galactica. Just chopping for projects. <laughs> it took me three tries, but I the, the last one was okay, right, Chimera? <laughs> What's up, Eminem? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. You hate the description of The Expanse? What's the description of it? The show's good. I'd like to read the book at some point, probably. His Dark Materials. That one I haven't tried. I haven't tried that one. So Niani working not great tiles, actually. We should unlock those. Work's been off the charts. Hey, man, that's all right. Are you enjoying the new job still? Oh, you don't like the BSG comparison. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's maybe that's maybe a little uh, that's maybe a little loose. It's, it's, it, that's not, yeah, you're right. That's not one for one. I shouldn't compare it there just because it's in space. I take it back. I take it back, Abba. Yeah, of course. Exactly, Atlas. You still loving it? That's really good, Eminem. I'm really happy that you're happier, buddy. I know it's getting a little dark there for a while. The expanse of the show about space colonization and the asteroid belt being super rich and being fought over. Yeah, they're basically like like several different factions. The Martians are one of them. The Belters are one of them, and the uh, the Earthlings are one of them. And uh, yeah, they, there's there's it's 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 a lot of drama and intrigue. It's almost like I don't know. Okay, all right, let's figure it out. Is it is it Game of Thrones meets Battlestar Galactica, and they hang out in Star Wars Episode One? that work? How's that? Decent? Yeah, it's a pretty cool show, Chris. I think you'd like it. If, if you're into sci-fi at all, yeah, obviously, obviously that's a caveat. Cool fact, written by George R. R. Martin's assistants. No, no joke. <laughs> it is a beautiful and important monument. All right, cool. So we get the Hagia Sophia. Uh, and our missionaries and apostles can spread religion one extra time. This is one of the most important wonders for a, a faith race. Um, that extra spread is nice. Ideally, you, can, you, you, you pair it with holy order and uh, get, get a lot of efficiency out of your faith at that point. 
Are elephants really space dragons? Are there really space dragons? <laughs> Did I get mosques? Not, not yet. Not yet. Um, okay. <laughs> Expanse covers a period in history after you win your Civ 6 game. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Do I prefer the Expanse or Altered Carbon? I don't think I ever saw Altered Carbon, Sacrador. So I guess the Expanse, but I, I guess I should check that one out too, huh? Um, okay, so like I said, uh, we were talking earlier with uh, em em embarking. Um, once you're sort of at this stage, I think, of, of the tech tree, if you're doing a faith race, you don't really have to bother with this stuff if you're not planning on doing anything war-related. Um, and so it's actually best to kind of go right to steam power. Um, extra movement on your embarked units is rather important for all of your apostles and things like that. So that's the direction we'll go for now. Uh, and we'll start building random stuff. Uh, we should probably get our mosques. What do you guys think? Probably, probably fine. I wish I could gold buy them, but I can't. Go ahead and grab uh, an apostle, and we'll finish off that particular belief. Hattusa. No one has first time Caesar in Hattusa. I want it. It's era score. Take Zanzibar back as well. Need to watch Altered Carbon. Carbon. What's it on? Where do I find it? on Netflix? Okay. What did I do to piss off the Zulu? Nothing. I was just allies with people he wanted to kill. <laughs> nice word. Tenacious D so good. But I'm also happy to cook it. Uh, that is that is one thing. We have zero faith-based city-states. So that is a bit of a bummer. And part of why our uh, faith economy will, will remain rather low. Okay, so not much else for this builder to do right now. So a, it's just a bad roll for, for faith. City states are kind of hit or miss as far as their usefulness in your particular game. Hmm. Stop it. What if I can make peace with him? Nope, two turns. So he flipped back. Oh, he flipped press love. That's fine. That doesn't have anything to do with us. Clear that. Get some era score. Very nice. Ooh, it actually, does that stop? That question was asked, and I've never noticed that it stopped. We didn't get era score for clearing that camp. So then we can say that in the Renaissance era, you no longer get gold from clearing camps? I guess I had never really noticed that. Huh. Who knew? That's the best spot. Actually, that's the best spot. For theater square. You asked that fit? Awesome. We have an answer now. 
Uber engineer to the one we're building. Yeah, Taj is rather important. I mean, not crazy, but. I could use one of these spreads. There's not really a lot of purpose. I guess we could use the spread in Zanzibar and then finish it off. I think that's fine. We'll do that. They can get a second district already. That's good. We're getting salty runbacks for Tots. We've only lost twice so far. Um, I don't know. I, I really, like, I'm going to have some some figuring out to do with what, what do we do with YouTube once Tots is over. Because I'm really not sure. I mean, I assume people are going to want more Civ content. So that'll be part of the plan one way or the other. Uh, but I don't know what it's going to look like. <laughs> You're serious about a Comcast branding opportunity for Salty Runbacks? <laughs> no, I don't think so, Quirion. Uh, I have a, I have a, a feeling we're, we're looking at uh, this will wrap up in like April. And then, then we'll just start it all over again, I guess. <laughs> and round and round the wheel turns. Yeah, things like the Wonder Challenge, absolutely. Humankind does not have a release date. <laughs> it doesn't. I don't I don't I know nothing. I know nothing. Why don't you guys believe me? I'm, I'm like Jon Snow over here. <laughs> okay. Playthroughs going for harder achievements. We, we've done achievement games and achievement streams. I, you know, honestly, like yesterday, I think part of the fun of the morning was just chatting and stuff. And so the stream landscape will change quite a bit, I think, once this is over, just because we won't be recording as often. So we'll probably have more time for shenanigans. I could buy this. A long time before we can place it, but eh, I don't hate it. It's also decent to buy it now uh, before we go over the halfway point. I think we're going to struggle to get this next golden age uh, unless we get Taj and then it might be okay. I'll buy it and in six turns we can use it. Got to spend our money. <laughs> it's that place you like to go with all the crazy cr crap on the walls. <laughs> Shenanigans? It's a great movie. Okay, so we'll move there, move there. Grab a promotion. No! The Haboob destroyed our districts. It's not great. <laughs> Asked on Jack the River Street for advice for newbies. I was just d directed to my stream, loving it so far. Awesome. Uh, Jack's good people, and uh, thanks for, for coming in. Nice of him to make the suggestion. Uh, it's kind of hard to give a bunch of advice right now for newbies. Can you tell me where your experience level is? Uh, as far as this game goes, being 133 turns into a pretty specific victory type, um, some of what we're doing is not going to apply, probably. 
uh, unless you are trying to duplicate my game. But have you played any civs before? About 270 hours played best win was on Prince. How many cities are you getting on a typical game? And when are you getting them? And chop that. Oh, see, this is what I don't want to deal with. I'd rather just evangelize rather than tangle this. I think you've seen six and twelve. If not, you're going for Dom. Yeah, uh, my general advice then is, um, yeah, Saxy's Saxy's a good resource on uh, YouTube as well. And Co gift in a sub. Welcome in, man. Welcome into our loving and and generous community. Uh, yeah, super pug. Enjoy your Civ emotes. Uh, yeah, usually like first hundred turns of the game, you really just want to expend, uh, spend your time expanding uh, for the most part. By the way, we're grabbing, we're not, we're not grabbing stupas, we're grabbing mosques for the extra spread. So now we have two extra spreads on all of our religious units, thanks to the wonder and that belief. Um, and then just kind of prioritize, focus in on your, focus in on your victory type, whatever that may be. Um, use that there. And, uh, yeah, play to your Civ's strengths, kind of know what you want to do with the game going into it. Um, what else? Pay attention to getting good districts. Um, and then, frankly, do what I do. Because <laughs> I'm not saying I do everything right, but if you can, if you can duplicate what I do, uh, you'll, you'll at least start to, you know, chip away at it. Uh, and I've got a ton of playthroughs there on YouTube if you're interested in checking them out. That way you can, you know, see what different leaders are, are all about and, and what we choose to do with them. How important is district placement between cities? Very. Um, and frankly, stacking in your government plaza uh, to maximize districts that otherwise would be weak in your game is a really good idea. So you can see all of our district adjacencies here. They're all going to be really strong around your government plaza. Uh, yeah. All right, Reform Church next turn. I don't like to commit myself about heaven and hell. You see. So what are we at? We're at 3500 faith. Got a ways to go. It might be worth it to settle some later cities just for the plus 6 holy sites that we'd get. It's really late in the game to be settling though. Uh, I'm going to pass. I don't care about them. Sorry, Cardiff. So our culture is really good. We're never really going to want to switch out of theocracy into democracy in a game like this. Uh, we should be able to win, I think, even before we get to that stage. So let me just head up that way. Let's check in on the other victory types. See what everybody else is up to. Uh, obviously, score is pretty irrelevant. <clears throat> No one's really doing too much with science. Culture, Shaka is doing well. Yeah, see, we're not doing crazy culture stuff. Domination is wide open. Religion, we can defend, so I'm not super worried about it. And then Diplo, yeah, 4 of 20. So not, not bad, not bad. Anonymous, gifter giving it, gifting five subs. Thank you, Anonymous. <laughs> All the gifted, we've had so many gifted subs this month. Holy cow. Thank you very much for the five. And uh, yeah, welcome in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it to everybody. Legal legend. Nice name. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. So I'm going to buy. I think I'll faith buy this mosque. We can use this as our, as our um, apostle city. And I don't know that I have a lot of time to build it later. It's only 300 faith. It's two turns-ish worth of faith. But, but like, here we'll build it. I just don't want to forget. Yeah, a lot of those are gifted, unsung. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very loved and generous. Uh, loved by the community this month. 
playing with any mods or can I recommend any? I don't really recommend a lot of mods. Um, I I prefer to play vanilla. I am playing modless at the moment. Um, yeah, so I don't really do mods. Used to like do quality of life ones. I'm I'm especially not a fan of the ones that like change the gameplay a whole lot. All right, if we're doing a faith race, then we actually do need to bring that in. I still want town charters, and I think we give up. Actually, trade confederations might maybe slightly better than aesthetics. Aesthetics is worth about thirteen culture. This is worth twelve culture and twelve science, ish. So we'll keep it like this, I guess. Am I going to drop more settlers down to the southwest? I don't think I'm going to anymore. We could certainly settle something here. It's not a really good place for us to gooba. It is a good spot for a holy site. Um, and we could we could use more of those. But I'm not crazy worried about it. I need to give these guys better tiles for sure. Oh, Barb's popped on there? Yeah, that's fine. Nice username. Enjoy your beer, buddy. Nope. Don't care. Nice. Failed. Uh, is there any reason you're making lumber mills even on hills? I use you chop in mine. Yeah, because because we're Mansa Musa and and Mansa Musa's mines give you four gold. We don't really need four gold on our mines. We 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 would prefer production tiles uh, in the cities that are basically lacking a lot of production. But specifically with Mansa Musa, I like lumber mills, especially on um, hills like that, because they turn into like I would rather have a one five tile than a what would it be a one three four. Yeah, one, three, fours. I prefer this to this. How does chopping down resources work? Uh, should you get rid of any for sure? Yeah, I, I usually chop a lot. Um, and I will try to chop the most. Uh, I'm not doing it a lot this game because it's a weird game for chopping. But try to do so with Magnus, um, who makes your chopping 50% better. So make sure he's established and then, and then chop as as much as you can now tiles like tiles like this you may want to leave alone because if you chop it you can only farm it but if you want to put a lumber mill on it you can actually add production and i generally prefer to do that um but if you it, in particular in most games if you have woods on top of hills you should chop that woods ideally with like a multiplier like you're you're using extra you're getting extra production out of that chop if you have like a colonization policy in or limes or something like that uh, and then and then just chop it and then plunk down a mine. Um, don't bother harvesting wheat and rice if the city is at its population cap, uh, unless you're really trying to force growth for some reason. Um, but yes, definitely like rainforest and woods, I would prioritize chopping. When is it good to have autocracy government over a classic republic? Uh, I liked autocracy. I, I will often switch into autocracy briefly while trying to build a wonder or two uh, to, to get that 10% extra chop. Like if you have that plus Magnus plus the 15% Corvi card early, like you can chop out uh, Warracle or Pyramids really fast. Um, and then and then usually that this is you're usually doing that in your capital. So the other side of this is decent as well. Um, I don't mind the autocracy legacy card quite a bit. I just find that the housing and amenities are a little bit more rare than actual raw yields. Um, but I will I will switch into this, but it, I usually switch back out into classic republic once I'm done. Lime stacks with chops sure does. Yeah, we used to abuse. We used to do something called abuse production overflow with limes. Uh, and what we would do is we would build like 78 out of 80 production out of your basic walls and then chop something. It would double the chop and then we could apply all of that overflow into like a wonder or something like that. It doesn't work like that anymore, so don't bother trying. Um, but yes, for sure. It, it adds it all in. Multiplayer of starting getting religion early in every case for the era score. Four belief at lunch, but... Nice to have in your back pocket just in case. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to be doing some uh, multiplayer stuff on stream, Eminem. I don't know if you know that. It's going to be a thing. Two turns and we'll use Newton. Let's 
Speaking of holy sites, I do want to get this sometime soon. Rip goddess of the harvest. True enough. Yes. True enough. <laughs> exactly, Chris. You're, I think you and I approach games the same way. I do that a lot. I'm like, wait, I learned something. I must do it all over again. I'm going to do it better. We're going to do it better this time. <laughs> sure, username. Although it won't be against the community. Terracotta for Genghis. Search for Taj. Nope, oh, just us. Okay. I don't have to worry about that. I think I can make peace. Yeah. Let's try to do that. White piece is fine. I don't I just don't really want to be involved in it. Took Zanzibar again. Brings us down to unhappy. Well, happy. But less happy than we were. One turn away. Oh dear. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there is a car having a fit out there. Having a conniption. Oh, we did. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's not my car. I don't have a car anymore. I'm carless. It's more like auto nobile. Yeah, we can trade. Trading's good. All right, we can pop you in here now. Help our science a good bit. <laughs> yeah, right, blue wings. Go ahead and focus on our faith. Uh, we will get them another district here in a tick. Wait for the Tesla truck? I just don't ever want to have a car again. I really don't. It's just so expensive and it's, I don't know. I drove enough for many, many years to to have my fill for a lifetime. Seven hundred gold per turn. Remember that politics. Oh yeah, he did convert me, didn't he? That rapscallion. That little weasel. Only a plus three holy site. Bleh. I think we're going to buy what we can now. Do I want to be buying banks? Don't know if we're buying banks. No, I don't want to faith by banks. Not if we're doing a um, 
Not if we're doing a faith race. We don't want to spend our faith there, unfortunately. What kind of gold per turn do banks give? Uh, we get five. It's pretty good. Great if we can um, double it. Oh, it's damaged. Yeah, maybe once we have like 5k gold and we're just like, I don't know what to do with all this money, then we'll buy some banks. Big Ben on the docket. Big Ben would be fantastic, obviously. Uh, I'm going for the Apostle movement at the moment. Could go that direction. It's a little awkward. I'm going to keep going the way I was going. STB! Hey, man. I missed your old soothing <laughs> voice less than three. Hey, wait. My voice isn't that old. Darn you. <laughs> STB, welcome back for seven months, man. Thank you for the repeat prime sub. Thanks for bringing that back to the channel. I appreciate it. Okay. Anything we want to change here? We definitely need both these policies in. Town Charters is obviously amazing for us. I think maybe running free market and then buying these banks is going to be worth it. But let's buy them in cities where we can or build them in cities where, where we at least have 10 pop. Like here's probably a good way, place to buy one. Drifted toward Minecraft and I've never played Civ again. Oh no, STB. That's <laughs> so true, Cope. I don't know what to do all, with all this money. I'll just buy some banks. It's such a Bruce Wayne thing to say. <laughs> Indeed. Nice, Batman. Yes. Merchant can build us one in instantly. Yeah, that's true. We should get it. Well, it's 100 turns and we're doubling it, but we also get the great people points out of it, which is something to consider, Chris. I agree with you. I think it's probably not worth it um, for the most part, but... We don't really know how long this game is going, and having just insane gold per turn is fine with me. Yeah, we'll be wiping out religion here soon. We're sitting at about 4k faith. Like, 10 more turns and we're at 6,500-ish. How is that even possible? We just got 4,000 gold stolen from us. So we'll build that one because that's one of our better cities. <laughs> yeah, we should have spent it. We did eventually. Oh, I have haboobs to deal with up there. Hold on. I forgot we're still just running holy site prayers here. Not all who want Got haboob fallout. Something like that. We're just doing a faith race. <laughs> How much does this game usually go on sale for? It's been it's been on sale a lot recently, Stickbot. Um, like a lot. Uh, and and it's been like the whole master package has been like pretty cheap. It's like it's like yeah, it's like almost always. It's been on sale a lot recently. I don't want to say almost always, but a lot. 
This is where Reyna would feel good to start buying these districts in these crappy cities. But it's a fantastic game, game uh, Stickbot. If it has any appeal to you at all, you'll love it. Sure, I'll get some walls. Oh, our friendship with Dido. Let's re up that. That's just most games, though. Losing doesn't feel good. There we go. Some iron. That's not a very good deal. That we can do. You guys keep fighting each other. Don't mind me. What do I want here? Just to build the bank. They don't really need their next district. Who stole the money? I don't know who stole the money. Yeah, probably time for holy site prayers. Oh, see, we missed the uh, bank one. Okay. Free market and bank, not a part of anything that we can have. Shaka got it. Your trade us for your own cities. This is terrible. Absolutely awful for us. Okay, if with someone like Persia, uh, but we're never running internal trade routes as Mansa Musa. So as much as this sucks, we still probably have to grab it. Um, but that's a big, pretty big bummer. We really like the production that we get on these. Two production seems good. And then the other ones are kind of whatever. I wouldn't hate a route from here to like Kumasi or Zanzibar. Because we'll just get a bunch of culture on it. And Envoy, we have three, so let's take Zanzibar back. Uh, actually, if we are getting banks, we should do it like this and just get to our next tier. The uh, the six, and then we'll buy banks. I think I like that. Yakumu, Yakumo, rather. Uh, Umori, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I just want to get my gold per turn as high as I can. Rip Hattusa. Um, what do we do with this now? We could block buildings from being created. What would we want to block? Braves, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome on into the shop. I can't believe it. We are seriously so close to 500 subs. How many of these are gifted? Let's look. It's a lot. Not that that's a bad thing. It's a lot. <laughs> thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. Thank you for the Prime. Uh, 
I guess we'll do commercial hub just because we are building a couple. I don't really need to block anything, I don't think. <laughs> That's exciting, Clueless Squirrel. Thanks. Thanks in advance. Oh, we won both of those. Diplo's back on the menu. It's not. It's not really. Kidding. Oh, where's that barb camp? Didn't see it. Didn't see it. Okay. Um, Going up here. For no particular reason. Yeah, it's 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 because of the mass like uh, gifted subs. I expect them to fall back out. Not that I not that I'm unappreciative of all those gift subs. Believe me, um, but I look at them and I go, oh, I can't count that. I can't count that towards like my normal. If that makes sense. Golden faith. I mean, that's all we're supposed to be doing really is Mansa. So I think we're doing it right. Oh, oh right, because we have extra. We have extra stuff. Flayer T, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I think I'm ready for this. Holy site prayers. It's all about that reroll hype. <laughs> Always take the four culture again. Thousand gold per turn by turn fifth one fifty. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah, spies would be good. University. Yeah, university could go here, I suppose. I'll do it. If you guys want. It's either that or, you know, focus on our win con. But let's wonder spam. Why not, right? It's only 15 turns. Alhambra. Nine hundred gold per turn. We've done the uh, what? What I've coined the one K challenge before, Chris, where we get a, th a thousand science, culture, faith, gold, uh, and tourism per turn, and that's pretty fun. People who received a gifted sub are probably more likely to re -sub. That's probably true. I like that perspective. It's optimistic. Have all the things should be a new victory condition. I do, I do like having all the things. Oh, our alliance died. That's where our gold per turn went. So let's re-ally. Uh, first friendship. Then we do economic alliance. And then we're back over 900. Which civ or leader for the 1k challenge? Uh, in my opinion, the best one is uh, Arabia. Because Arabia's worship building adds in 10% faith, science, and culture to that particular city. And there are very few things in Civ 6 that actually do percentage modifiers like that versus they were somewhat abundant in Civ 5. So to me, it's Arabia and nobody else. Not to say you can't achieve it with other people. I just think it's the best as Arabia. Thanks, Blue Fire. That's 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 lovely to hear. I appreciate that. Did you ever build a castle in the air? 
Cool. So Taj Mahal, uh, worth a bunch of air score on its own, and then makes every other moment that's worth two or more worth an extra one, which is nice, especially at this stage of the game. It gets harder and harder to do. Hey, <laughs> there he comes. That's your next one, I guess. I guess it. I guess it's. Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Blue Fire. Thank you for the prime. Welcome on into the shop. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Antiquity sites. On an oasis. I don't even know antiquity sites could go on oasises. I mean, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> well, thank you, Blue Fire. I appreciate it a whole lot. See ya, Bree. As always, good to have you here, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. I could get these archaeologists. I don't really know why I got the archaeologist museums as opposed to the art. It doesn't really matter too much. I think I just want to do this. Thank you for turning bad days into good days. I am so sorry that you're having a bad day, and you're very welcome. Cope, thank you so much for the 1,500 bits. That is incredibly kind of you. Getting that, getting on that bit cheerle cheerleader board. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mount St. Michelle, I don't think we really need it. I really don't. Thank you, Cope. Two envoys here. I don't think we need to do much about them. What are bits? Bits are basically Twitch's e-currency. Um, so you guys buy a certain amount of bits, or uh, and and then you can cheer in channel uh, if if streamers are if you if you a want to support them or b they do something cool or whatever. But it's basically their like e-currency. But it's really they're they're actually incredibly helpful as far as supporting your your local streamer. Uh, I think the ratio is better for bits versus subs. I don't know. But yeah, bits like a penny. So that fifteen hundred bits is like fifteen bucks to me, and that's like four cents. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. They're all the each each bit is as appreciated as the previous bit, if that makes sense. <laughs> four twenty. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it a lot. Trademark. I like it. I like it. It's got his patented bit donation order. Dig it. I dig it. All right, we're getting close. We didn't make our uh, 10k gold by, uh, or, or our 1k gold per turn by 150, sadly. We got pretty darn close, though. So. How much longer do we want to wait before we get our mass apostle promotions? Ooh, turn 150 save. Thank you very much. A save and a haircut. Two bits. Mithrak. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well played, friends. And on that note, let's go ahead and put a cut in this video. If you're watching over on YouTube, I do appreciate you watching. Thank you for doing so. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.